What's good, family? Let's talk about it. All right, so check this out. Jada Waiter say she want a guy, a street guy with a gun. Now, my whole thing is this. I think people took what she said and ran with it without listening to exactly what she said. So she said she want a hood dude with a gun, street dude with a gun or whatever, right? That don't mean she want to live the street life. And we going to get into all that. But before we do, make sure you go on here, go over to www.marcyville.com. Get your mixtape cover game straight. You plan on dropping, hey, man, before you go into the new year, you can already have your cover ready to go. You got the song popping and all that. You want to pop it off the right way, go get you one of these covers from Marcy, man. The link going to be in the description and the link going to be in the comment box. And y'all already know, man, if Marcy ain't do it, you blew it. You know what I'm saying? Look at look at the detail, man. Look, this is real craftsmanship right here. Craftsmanship right here. So go ahead and get you one of these covers, man. Blow your new single up. But back to this, though. Now, Jada say she want a hood dude with a gun. Now, look, this the whole thing about it, bro. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm finna keep it a honey with y'all. This is what it boils down to. When Jada said that she want a street dude, hood dude with a gun, um, I think she just meant that's the type of dude for her. And I'm finna explain to y'all why it ain't nothing wrong with what she said. See, Jada, like a lot of these other females on the internet, they just chasing the bag, right? Y'all the ones that make them influencers. I ain't never heard Jada say she trying to be a role model. I ain't never heard Jada say she trying to be an influencer. Y'all make them that. When really, they just chasing a bag. And also, Jada didn't grow up like that. So because Jada didn't grow up like that, it's a difference with her. What I mean, she didn't grow up in the hood. She didn't grow up in the street life. So a dude like that excites her, but she don't want the life that come with that. She don't want to be seeing going to a funeral every other week and seeing people with their head blowed off, laid out in the streets and being around people that's selling and dealing drugs. You know she don't want that life. Because guess what? If that's the life she really wanted, she got enough money to go pull up and be there. She'll be there every day if that's the life that she really wanted. But that ain't the life that she want. That's just the type of dude that she want, which I feel like she got the right to want what she want. She not responsible what other girls out here doing, what other females out here do. Now, does she have an influence on them? Yeah, she do. But if she said she trying to be an influence to them, she never said that. See, you can't hold people accountable and make them be accountable for something that they ain't got nothing to do with it. Jada ain't trying to go do no dry bass. She ain't trying to be sitting in a cracking dope houses. No, she ain't trying to do all that. So she just want the guy. She don't want no street life, bro. She just want the guy. That's just like, okay, take like the Kardashians. They privileged, right? You get tired of butlers. You can burn the car. You tired of cars. You tired of bad. What's the only thing you could get for free that would excite you that you ain't never experienced? The hood. When Khloe Kardashian bought, I think it was like two G-Wagons or whatever she bought, it did stood on me, and then she was like, these big meets Larry Hoover. Nine times out of ten, she probably got that from the song listening to Rick Ross. What does Khloe Kardashian really know about big meets Larry Hoover? Nothing. And most females know that come up in the hood. They get tired of it. They try to move away from it. Why you think they, oh, I'm having a party. Leave the BS at the crib. But the younger you exposed to it, the quicker you get tired of it. If you been drinking since like 13, 15, by the time you turn 30, you probably don't even want another drink. If you didn't start drinking until you 21, chances are you're going to be drinking way past your 30s. So the younger you exposed to it, the quicker you will get over it. She ain't been exposed to that lifestyle. And then the rappers make it seem like it's a glamorous lifestyle. They put the swag on it. They glamour it up. They make street life seem like it's all foreign cars and getting money and wearing jewelry and hanging out in the hood and standing on the block. No. So now she don't want no street life. She ain't asking for no street life. She just want a street guy. She just want to feel protected. And it intrigues her because, like I said, you got to think 
coming up around the dude she was around. I think they said she went to like private or prep school or something like that. Like, you ain't had no street cats or nothing. You know what I'm saying? They said she was in the burbs and the A or whatever. As she grew up, you know, it wasn't no street cats around her. So if you look at a rapper, they'll make that life look like to you that it's real, real glamorous. Them the type of dudes they'll end up wanting. They, you didn't come up around them. You ain't never had one. So you know that's what she attracted to. That's what she liked. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. And she responded, too. And then she was talking about how now she don't want to talk because every time she get her opinion or every time she say how she feel about something, y'all get mad at her, which y'all shouldn't be because at the end of the day, bro, it, whatever she want, whatever she like, that should be her business. That should be her choice. She ain't got nothing to do with if your daughter, daughter following her. No, manage your kids better. All, all to do with the unfollow is a click of a button. You know what I'm saying? These females, bro, on this Instagram and on these social media networks is out here for the bag. So if they out here and they chasing the bag and your kids following them, that's your fault. You need to put your kids on a better path. She's not responsible for y'all kids. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, even a lot of females know. I'm tired of the BS. They'll move away. They done move to a whole nother city. They done move to a whole nother state. Boy, a female will move to a whole nother state. And the way she was in the state she from, you wouldn't even know it. Oh, a female leave Chicago and go somewhere else, man you, man, you wouldn't know the half about that female when she went somewhere else. She probably was the biggest life of the party. Probably moved somewhere else to tell you she don't even like to go to clubs. Tell you she don't even like to go to parties. Why? She probably done lost a boyfriend to the streets. She probably done lost uh, uh, family members to the streets. She probably done been to parties, they were shot up. She probably done been to clubs, they were shot up. She don't want to live that life no more. So they do a whole 360. But like I said, the younger you exposed to it, the quicker it get out your system. When you exposed to it late, you steady trying to keep up for all the time you missed when you wasn't doing it. And that's Jada. She open that. She she feel like she could speak her man freely. She feel like she could do whatever she want to do. She was probably always thinking that and just didn't ever voice it. So now she coming out, yeah, he got to have a gun. He got to be hood. He got to be street. But she don't want a street life. Hell no, nah, don't nobody want a street life. And she responded, say she don't want to talk no more. Y'all done made her mad. Y'all be getting on her nerve because, like I said, she just trying to take a bag and get money, bro. But it's like... Every time she say or speak on how she feel, then she getting towed down. Then she getting critiqued. These people was not role models, bro. They not out here to be role models. They chasing bags. If a if a female, your daughter following on social media right now, go get a BBL, that's going to make your daughter want a BBL. If you trying to keep your daughter away from BBLs, then you need to tell her she don't need to get one. It's just that simple. They not out here raising y'all kids. You got to raise your kids. But it is what it is, man. So y'all get in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think or how y'all feel about Jada saying she want a street dude with a gun. But I just gave y'all the reason why she want one, bro. It's attracted to people that ain't never lived that lifestyle. That excites them. You got somebody that's rich right now. Bored. They would they they would love they think they would love to be in the streets. They would love to want to hang out in the streets. They think so to them shots start ringing out. To people start getting killed. To people start getting hit. See the bad part of the streets don't get advertised. The part y'all think the streets really is get advertised. That's why it's such a disconnect between the internet and the streets. Because the bad part, they don't advertise that. They don't promote that. But the parts y'all think that's good, they give you that excitement, they give you that adrenaline rush to make you want to be out there, that's what people be wanting to do. Y'all get in the comment box, man. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Buddha. I'm out.